So welcome to the Barcelo Maya Caribe. This is the hotel that we're staying at while we're here on the Mayan. Barcelo actually has five hotels that are side by side, so you're able to use all the facilities except for at the Deluxe. But today I'm just gonna take you to the Barcelo Maya Caribe, because it's a pretty big complex all on its own. This is the front entrance, and if you can see over here, this is where the Maya Mall is. So I'll take you into that uh, through the front. So let's go into the lobby. So here is the entrance to the lobby. As you can see, it goes right through to the back. It's actually very beautiful. It's a bit dark, but I think they keep it that way to keep the temperature down. So here we are in the main lobby. As you can see, it's pretty large. So we're just gonna take a left and I'm going to take you into the Mayan Mall. So it has shopping, it has a mall bar, it has a couple of restaurants um, that you need to have reservations for. It has the disco for the teens. It has a carousel at the end for all your kids, for your little ones. And on the right here is the stage. Um, every night we have somebody different on there. And then about 8 o'clock they have the mini disco. So it's where your kids can come and dance with a couple of the staff. And you see right next door, one, that's the disco for the teens. So let's go into Strikers. So Strikers is open 24 hours a day. You can see it has a lobby bar and it always has food on the go. So if you're hungry and if you like sports, this is your place. I'm just gonna take you up to the front. It's early yet, so there's no one here, but you can see that they have 10 pin bowling. There is a slight charge for that. And there on the side is an arcade for the kids. Lots of different games they can play all along the side. See they have pool on the other side. Pick up your shoes. And Strikers always has a kids menu on. So it always has hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, onion rings for the kids. We also have a bit of an adult menu. As you can see, it's pretty dedicated to sports. So tons of sports screens. You watch sports all day year, dads. That's your choice. take you into this. This is the lounge. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got big seating and it has sports on the big screen 24 hours a day. So if sports is your thing, this could be a little hideaway. So we're still in the mall. Here's two of the restaurants that you have to have a reservation for. One is Italian and on the other side Tokyo I guess gives it away but it's a Japanese restaurant it's pretty quiet here this morning people are still at breakfast at breakfast is served here till 10 30. you can see at the very end they have it covered up but that's the carousel for the kids so at night it's up and running and the kids are loving it always busy always busy it's pretty quiet here in the mall this morning but at night it's very busy, lots of shops. They have shops on the other side here. Clothing shops, gift shop, liquor board store. They got it all. So just down the stairs and across the street from the actual mall is the Playa Mexicana Shopping Center. So here's you'll find all your Mexican stuff, I guess. <laughs> 
These are not really run by the hotel, they're run by individuals who rent out their spots. Again, it's early, so not very many vendors have their stuff open yet. But anything you can buy in Playa del Carmen, you can buy here. As always, in any place in Mexico, you can always get new Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And this is our room. We're in the sale building, 1157. So it is a very nice room. It has two chairs, a couch. Uh, if you look out, we have a table and two chairs so I can sit out. have this really nifty bench that's built right in where you can just leave your luggage. At the water park, Pirates Island. It's mainly for littler kids. I didn't see many big kids here, but it's a Water park with the Snippy water slides. We have a galley and ship the kids can get up on. It has a small pool. Sorry, I'd like to take you in, but it's still too early and it's not open. The other great thing that they have here is a surf rider. That's attracting the older kids and some adults, but it takes a little bit of skill to be able to master that. So, about a four minute walk from the pool is the paddy station. Here, the girls can set up for you. Any deep sea diving you want to do, snorkeling trips, sunset sails, they'll kind of do it all here. Of course, there's a cost associated with those trips, um, as at all resorts. And right across from them, it's where you can get all your water sports equipment. You can see they have the big bikes, they have paddle boards, they have kayaks. windsurfers, sailors, whatever it is you like, they have it here. But here is one of the better attractions here at the uh, Barcelo, and it's where you swim with the dolphins. So it's like a four minute walk from my room to come. If you don't want to swim with the dolphins, you just have little guys or it's not your thing, you can come out though to the pool, it's free, and watch them with people. The dolphins are actually always in the tank, so you can just sit and watch them if you like. They also have a show, two shows a day if you just want to come and see them. So here are the dolphin pools. You can see them, they're in there just bobbing around, waiting to get to work. Here they do anything from a swimming with the dolphins to just an encounter with the dolphins. It starts at about $89 and you can go up from there. But don't forget, they're going to tell you the pictures of your kids with the dolphins. So if you're interested in getting married, here's one of the chapels. You can see they have a beautiful archway and when there's a wedding they have it all wrapped in tulle. And then on the inside you can actually see there's seats. altar. It's very beautiful when it's all set up for a wedding. Right out here on the beach. So here is the pool at the Caribe. As you can see they're just massive. They have a little bubble pool there for you. There's your swim up bar. Don't forget, all the hotels have a pool this size, so you don't have to sit at this pool if you don't want. You can move to one of the others, and every pool for sure will have a kids area like this. There's little slides, some water features for the kids, so you can sit and watch them if you like, or you could also take them out to that water park we showed you before. 
and here we are down at the beach. It's just beautiful. This is the beach in front of the Caribe Hotel where we're staying. I think it's one of the nicer beaches. It has the more mature palm trees, so you have somewhere to hide from the sun if you so choose. And it's quite a nice hike in the morning if you want to go out for a walk. I'm sure you're wondering, what is all that brown stuff? That is seaweed. August is one of the months that they get the most seaweed. Last year we were down here at the Mayan at a different hotel and the seaweed problem was the same. The hotel will be around to pick it up shortly. It's still pretty early. But you can see people are already out swimming. It's pretty calm now, but by the afternoon there are some great waves if you're a beach person and like to get in the water with the waves. It's probably one of the better beaches I've been on for waves. So here's the Barsi Club. This is the club that's put on by the hotel for your little ones. Inside is just a ton of activities for them. Unfortunately, they won't let me film inside because there's kids in there, which is understandable. And out here is a full playground. So if your kids would like a little break from their parents, <laughs> this is where you could take them. So right here, down by the beach, you're going to have basketball. They have a full basketball court. Can't really see it, but on the other side of the basketball court are two bocce areas. And right there is your climbing wall. They're obviously setting up for something tonight. That'll be held down here by the beach. And this is just down by the... Um, ocean also and it's where you get your towels, it has all your washrooms, it has a store, you can see a couple of girls already set up to sell you stuff and this is also where you can get your tours. You can see they have a walkway, that walkway extends all the way down past all of the hotels so it's about a 30 minute walk so if you're looking for something to do you see lots of joggers in the morning, lots of people walking. At night, it's fully lit, so you could also walk down here by at the night. And just want to close with a shot of the, the ocean. It is very beautiful. This is just a small showing of what the Barcelos have to offer here. It is a mega resort, so if you're not really into mega resorts, maybe this is not for you. But keep in mind, if you're in a mega resort, you're going to get a lot of amenities, a lot of things for the kids to do, a lot of things for the adults to do. And if you are ever bored, there's something for everyone. So keep that in mind. So bye from the Barcelo on the Mayan.